for today's adventure. You're at the Colorado Railroad Museum. Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Kelly. Hey, I'm Jackson. My name is Jackson. And this is Jonathan. This week's event at the Railroad Museum is all about model trains and railroads, and Joshua recently has really gotten into model trains and railroads. Just past the ticket booth is a fun telegraph exhibit where you can read all about the first telegraph and even hear what the telegraph being sent sounded like. So that's what they would do, is they would tap it in a certain order. So downstairs they have a small room for their changing exhibit, and currently the exhibit is photographs by William Henry Jackson that were really cool. Downstairs also houses the Denver HO Model Railroad Club's display. This may have been the boys' favorite part. So as far back as I can remember, we always had model trains at Christmas time. Well, my dad had them when he was a kid, and so I had them when I was a kid, and now we are passing it down to our kids as well. They actually had a really cool layout. We got to see all of the diesel electric trains, and we got to see the steam engine trains. We got to get the state fair to turn and come on. And then this section right here, they actually let me come in the room and get closer video of the train yard. After spending a significant amount of time watching the model trains, we headed back upstairs to check out the model trains event. There was a volunteer working on a small scale model railroad and a display of the different model train sizes. So G, G scale is the largest at the bottom, commonly known as garden scale. Um, o scale is pretty much where model railroading started with Lionel. HO is the most common and the most plentiful. N scale is the second most common. And then Z scale is the smallest all the way up there. So we have the HO, Joshua. That's all the trains we have at home are the HO scale, which is this one. Look, they got smaller and bigger. The boys enjoyed making a small batch box to house their tiny bead trains and taking turns controlling the display engine. I want you to take that, I want you to turn that slowly to two. There it is. Nice job. Turn it up to zero. There it is. Nice job. Now, what do you think happens if we start turning it towards that two? Look at that. Ooh. That was going backwards. Here we go, guys. We're going to ride the train now. We highly recommend you choose the train ride add-on. The conductor is very informative and shares lots of information about the different trains on the rail yard. This option is usually only available on Saturdays. The museum itself has been here since um, 1959. Came up here from Alamosa. Uh, the goal was to salvage Colorado railroad equipment. So 99% of the stuff you see here today is all stuff that all ran in Colorado, one, way, one form or another. Comes around the corner. Turntable is 118 years old, came to us from St. Francis, Kansas. The roundhouse itself was built in 2000. We run it almost entirely on volunteers. Everybody that you see outside of the main office today is volunteers. Um, the guys that are working in the machine shop in the back of the roundhouse are all volunteers. So with volunteers and donations is how we operate. On the 15 acres of rail yard, they have over 200 train cars and engines. Many of these you are able to climb up into and explore. So this is where the conductor sat, I believe. This is the coal car. This is where they stored all the coal. 
And this is the furnace that they put it in. This is what a caboose looks like. There's where they cooked everything was in the caboose. That's why there's always smoke coming out of the caboose. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Look, the stack goes up from the stove. I did not know that. Cook. And you can actually stand here, which is why this is higher up. You can stand down, here. Down, down. This is where they prepped all the. I want to show them how uh, you're standing in here. Make sure to check out our blog tomorrow for more photos and things we've learned while at the museum that didn't make it into this video. Find the link in the comment section below. We are on to the next adventure.